His Excellency Ambassador Hong Seng Tan, Singapore's permanent representative to the ASEAN, and our very esteemed advisory group member of the ASEAN Leaders Program. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Um, his Excellency the Mayor to share his thoughts with us on leadership, on innovation, and on smart cities. I think um, what the Mayor has achieved in Bandung. Um, his reputation precedes him, and I think I would probably not be able to do justice to everything that he's achieved. But just wanted to draw out a few things, just as a matter of introduction. Um, the mayor is a uh, very famous architect from India, uh, from Indonesia. <laughs> Sorry, could well have been from India. Um, an educator at the Bandung Institute of Technology (ITB). Um, he's an urban de designer. He's a writer. Uh, he did his degree at the University of California in Berkeley, um, and he's apps and he's worked in New York, he's worked in San Francisco, and he's worked in Hong Kong before coming back to Indonesia and settling here, uh, and of course, um, sort of uh, being being elected the mayor of Bandung. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Ridwan Kamil. I just I'm. Uh, Mayor of the third largest city in Indonesia is uh, two and a half hour away from here with the police escort. Yeah. <laughs> Without police escort, uh, extra one hour. Uh, I'm happy to be here because uh, this is part of my philosophy that I cannot say no when somebody asks for sharing. Yeah, this my uh, my father. Uh, uh, so uh, I will talk about Indonesia in my perspective. Yeah, I will not talk yet to the smart city kind of things, but I want to talk about <coughs> some Islam issues in Indonesia, some democracy where I'm here. Uh, that's something I think you should uh, learn about the new Indonesia. Okay. This is Garuda Pancasila. A symbol of our how we unite the nations. Yes. Garuda is the word for the eagle. Panca means five. Sila means principles. So this is our guiding principle that tied us together from Sumatra to Papua. Principle number one is belief in God. So we are more or less try to be religious. We formally acknowledge five religions, Islam, Christians, yeah, whether you are Catholic or Protestant, uh, Hindus, Buddha, and Confucianism. So, this belief in God is number one. Number two of our guiding principles is humanity. So, we are trying to uphold the human right because we have number two. Number three is nationalism. Number four is democracy. So you can see number one, belief in God combined with democracy. You think Islam cannot go hand in hand with democracy? Yes, maybe in Middle East, but in Indonesia, Islam peacefully uh, work together with what we call Western democracy. I'm the product of from direct election, one man, one vote. So I become a mayor because I knock the doors, I introduce myself, people like and people vote. Number five is uh, social justice. So that's basically our uh, five guiding principles. With that, yeah, we are the biggest Muslim country in the world. Our population, 250 million Muslim, consists around 85%. So the whole Muslim in Middle East is outnumbered by the whole Muslim of Indonesia. The only problem is we are too shy <laughs> to speak yeah, in, the, in the international forum, to, to have a dialogue with the West. With, when the West talk about Islam, they always think it's all about Middle East. But we have here the majority of Muslim in Indonesia, but we never invited into the dialogue of what is 
the next world order or something uh, about try to, to find a, a peaceful kind of goals within our new civilization. So after 2004, so after nine years I returned to Bandung. I jumped to politics not because I like politics, but I believe politics is a, is a vehicle for change. If you want to change, you have to have sort of a vehicle that your belief, your idealism can uh, make a difference using the system. So I jumped to politics. That's also because I feel my city then was not in a good shape. Yeah. Corruption very high, infrastructure very bad. Nobody walk the city. I, I, I like to walk. Yeah. I'm a, I like to walk the city. Uh, I live in New York, I walk. This, to, I live in San Francisco, I walk. I live in Hong Kong, I walk. So when I return home, I cannot walk. <laughs> it's, it's not a good. Uh, but the, weather, uh, the city is nice, historically. The weather is cool compared to Jakarta. Uh, so, so many problems. So that, that's why I said to my family, look, I have a good life as an architect. I have many projects in in uh, China, in uh, Middle East. And my family asked, why you jump to something that we don't understand, something dangerous? But, uh, but here I am. Uh, I decided that I think I can make a difference if I become a uh, mayor driving change in my city. So, so as an architect, I have always what I call Man mapping kind of process. This is my mind in the form of tree. Uh, this is my philosophy to build Bandung. Number one, I remember the Steve Jobs mantra innovation. Innovation distinguishes leaders and followers. So I thought to my bureaucracy within my leadership, you have to produce new ideas every week. So we have a happiness photo project yeah, for my regular citizens. <coughs> that it can be beautiful, not because you are pretty, or but you are having or showing your inner beauty by smiling. I think for some reason, when everybody smile or laugh, they have increasing the level of handsomeness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened now. I have library because I want to increase the literacy culture in my people. Indonesia is very low in literacy. We ranked 64 out of 65 countries surveyed last year. They said, okay, that's Indonesia, but in Bandung I have to increase. Yeah. Uh, because Indonesian only read 27 pages per year. Yeah. From, from books. Yeah. So that's very, very low. And that's 27 pages of book, includes the saving bank books, yeah. <laughs> which is <laughs> This is my people, and that's me, of course. That's my wife, but that's not my kid. <laughs> this is the opening of what we call movie park. So I. I changed the no man's land, dirty negative space under the uh, negative space under the highway into movie park. So people in Bandung can watch movie for free every day, and we create amphitheater. And this is during the the soccer uh, game because we have very strong soccer team. Next, and this is from different angle. This I put the giant school. Simple happiness. Again, the poor time me, Mr. Mayor, thank you, because we, don't, we, we cannot afford to go to cinema. Next. Ah, this is another part of Bandung, which is the young. Uh, that's the poor, and this is the young. Ah, this is with the police also. Next. Ah, this is with the military. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weekly basis in Bandung. Now, my last uh, sharing is about 
how I use technology because I'm a gadget oriented person before. We use gadget because we try to make our life easier, right? Now, use that philosophy in government, basically the same. We want to use technology to create my government uh, easy, better, transparent. And so, on. Okay, next. So, Indonesia is getting digital, okay? Population 250 million. Yeah. Mobile connection 326 million. So Indonesia is a country where number of mobile phone outnumber the population. Many gentlemen in Jakarta they have two or three mobile phones. Yeah. Because networking is everything. Next. This is what happened. Yeah, 2013 is on the left. Manual management, costly decision, inaccessible data, top-down process, service was very slow, corrupt system. Now the roadmap is focusing on the basic infrastructure, smarting my people, capacity building, creating a new way of governing cities, participatory, and a, a future of Bandung, which is technology city. Next. So this is my comment center. Yeah. If you come to Bandung, I'll invite you to come to my comment center. As an architect, I love Star Trek, so I design <laughs> my comment center like Star Trek country. Yeah. Just the carpenter and just the spoke local style. So for that, I conclude <laughs> my sharing that uh, that's the new Indonesia. I'm still minority yeah, uh, out of 500 mayors but now I'm pushing this philosophy to many cities in Indonesia so Indonesia can you know become a new uh, country that push the economy with innovation with transparency embrace democracy so hopefully that's the message I want to send to the world. Thank you very much. Um, I wanted to say thank you to Ambassador Tarun Singh. He was the one who bullied me and forced me into participating in this program. I always listen to whatever he says, but this time thank you very much because I owe you one. A big thank you to Adi who persuaded me to be the host for this evening because if I hadn't paid for dinner, I wouldn't have been invited. <laughs> and I wouldn't have got to listen to this, this wonderful speech, so thank you very much, Adi. Um, Look, we can talk a lot about the lessons we've all learned. I'm guessing they'll all be different, right? For me, I've just taken away some nuggets, right? Look at the amount of technology used to connect with people. Look at the focus on empowering the community to partner with the government, right? To achieve an objective. And again, amongst many other things, look at the desire to make a change. Yeah, as 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 Pamir said, if you don't go knocking on doors, things aren't going to change for you. But look, I just want to talk about a couple of things. I've been now in Indonesia for two years. Before this, I was in Vietnam. Before that, I was in New York for four years. Before that, in Hong Kong for six years. <coughs> and I have not genuinely ever been in a country as incredible as this one. And this is the reason why, right? So think about this. And you're all Asian leaders yourselves, right? So here you have a prominent architect who decides to give back. Look at what one individual is able to accomplish. Surely through the desire, purely through the desire to give back. One individual. All the stuff you've seen out here, I was just wondering, wow, how much more stuff have you done? He's been here for two years. Thank you for feeding all of us this evening. Thank you, Sumit.